Hello, I'm Leif Johansen from Autophone. I'm going to talk about what makes a cartridge good and now with focus on cartridge principles. At Autophone, we are focusing on two different principles, moving magnet and moving coil. There are other cartridge principles, but these are the ones that we will focus on here. And as the name indicates, moving magnet is about a magnet moving. Moving coil is about a coil which is moving. So this magnet will be moving between some coils and this coil will be, be moving in a magnetic system. And both of these cartridges will of course produce a very good sound. So let's have a closer look at these two cartridges. I'll start with the moving magnet. And now, please be aware that I'm going to destroy this cartridge while taking it apart to show you what is inside. So don't do this at home, the cartridge will not work afterwards. Again, moving magnet means that some magnet will be moving when the stylus is moving in the groove. This is where we have the cantilever and that cantilever is of course moving and at the end of that, I will take it out here like this. This is where you have the magnet. It's a very small magnet and this is the moving magnet. So this part will be moving when the stylus is in the groove. To generate a signal out so that we can listen to music this magnet has to be placed in a coil system. That coil system is in the other part of the cartridge. So I'll take this one out and then I need to look closer what's inside here. We have a shielding here. That shielding is to prevent against noise. I'll take this one out of the body like this and the shielding is still on. And inside here, you cannot really see it. This is where the magnet will be sitting and moving around. So now the shielding is like that. I can take it off, metal part. And now you can see coils. So these are coils wound from very thin copper wire. There are a couple of thousand windings on each of these four pins. So the wire is really, really thin, so the coils are really huge. So this is why they will be stationary and not moving around, and why we will have the magnet sitting in between here and moving. In the coils, we'll have a voltage generated, a signal, and that one will come out at the very end of these four terminal pins, so that we can now connect the cartridge to the rest of the system and listen to music. So we have now looked at the moving magnet, taken it apart to see what's inside and to understand how it's working. Next thing is that I will look at a moving coil. So I have a moving coil cartridge here. I'll try to take it apart and see what's inside. So take off the stylus guard. And now I need to unscrew this single screw to get the housing off so that we can look inside. So carefully, like this. So now it is sort of naked. You can see everything inside. There's a small part here I want to take off, small protecting part. I want to remove that as well, like that. So let's see what the different parts are. So this is moving coil. So there will be a coil attached to the cantilever that will be moving when the stylus is moving in the groove. So this is of course the cantilever and inside here, it might be difficult for you to see inside here, we have a coil, a very small coil. It's different from the moving magnet coil with a lot of windings. This has very few windings compared to and this is not wound by a machine, this is hand wound. This is sitting 
in an air gap in a magnetic system. So now we have a big stationary magnet here compared to the very small moving magnet we had before. And this big magnet will then generate a magnetic field where the coil is. So now when the coil is moving, we will have a voltage coming out of the windings. And through these thin wires that goes from the coil, it will go to the end terminal pins. And here we can connect to the rest of the equipment and listen to music. So now we have had a close look at moving magnet, how it works, how it looks inside. We had a close look at the moving coil. Next thing I want to do is try to compare parts from the moving coil directly to the parts of the moving magnet. I have a cantilever from the moving coil right here on the table, I'll get it. So this is a cantilever with stylus and the coils, very small coils. So this is the moving coil cantilever with the small coils. I'll put it over here. In the same way, I have a cantilever from the moving magnet. Again, cantilever, stylus, and then the very tiny magnet at the very end. So when I put these two next to each other, the magnet is of course magnetic, so it, it attracts the armature. So now I'll put them like this. So now we have the very small coil, moving coil, very small magnet, moving magnet. The small coils need a big magnet to generate a voltage out to get the music out of the cartridge. That magnet I have over here. So this is a magnet from a moving coil. This is very magnetic. So when I get this one close to over here, then it will really affect the parts. You can see now I'm getting close, it starts to affect them. I'll put it a little bit at the side over here. Uh, okay, now it really did attract it. So I'm, it also attract my tweezers. So I'll take this like that and put it over here. Still, still too close. Sorry, I'll take it off again. You see, it's quite powerful. So at this distance, it works. So <laughs> you can now compare this extremely small magnet from the moving magnet to this big, very powerful magnet from the moving coil. In the same way. We can also compare the coils, small coils from the moving coil, to the very big coils from the moving magnet, which I have here. These are the big coils, machine wound with a lot of windings. So now we can compare those very big coils to these very small coils. So this is really the difference seen directly between the moving magnet, which we have over here, and the moving coil which we have over here. So what we have seen now is how a moving magnet and how a moving coil is built. Or more precisely, we have been looking into the principles of a moving coil and a moving magnet. We have really not been into details about the different components and what possibilities there are in changing the different uh, components. But if you look at the principles of a moving magnet and moving coil, there are one big advantage for the moving magnet that is worth mentioning. And that is that this stylus part with the cantilever, of course, is detachable. And that is possible because the magnet do not need to have wires connected to the rest of the cartridge. So in here you will have the magnet on the cantilever, so therefore you can make this detachable, which is nice if it's worn out or something happens to your stylus. You cannot do that with the moving coil because there you have the coil with wires connecting to the rest of the cartridge, so there you won't have that kind of possibility. We have sort of seen small magnet, big coils, small coil, big magnets, and sort of trying to balance these two against each other. 
And that is, of course, to have sort of a suitable output. Um, but still, even if we are trying to use really big magnet and uh, in the moving coil, we will have a much less output of the moving coil. So for the moving magnet with a high output, it makes it easier to connect to a bigger variety of uh, phono preamps. Um, sound quality wise, there is a big potential in the moving coil principle. This is very basic moving coil cartridge uh, that we can sort of tweak if we want to. We can look into better parts and uh, introduce technologies that will improve the sound quality. And we will look into this in a later video. Not saying that in the moving magnet you cannot do anything, because in the moving magnet we have the coils in here, as we have been talking about. And these coils are on some pins, and those pins can also be modified so that we will talk about what is called split pole pins. So there's also some possibilities here. Let's now try to summarize what we have done. We have been looking into the moving coil and moving magnet and found out how they are working. And the moving coil, of course, with this very small coil and big magnet and moving magnet, small magnet and big coil, as we have on the table here. The coil and the magnet are the two components determining the output of the cartridge. So even if we try to put a big magnet together with the small coil with a few windings that we have in the moving coil, it turns out that the output voltage from the moving coil on the most conditions will be significantly lower than the moving magnet. Another thing sort of determined by this uh, way we make or generate this, uh, the signal is the fact that in the moving magnet we have the magnet attached to the end of the cantilever as we have seen and that does not need any wires. So I can have the part with the cantilever and the magnet to be detachable from the rest of the cartridge, so in here still with the coils. That we cannot do with the moving coil because the coil is moving and has wires connected to the rest of the cartridge. So this is also really a nice benefit. But talking about these, these principles, we have not really been into any details about material and, and, and technologies. But uh, in the videos to follow this one, we will talk about the different technologies can, that can enhance sound quality. We will talk about importance of the materials. What does the materials mean for the sound quality? So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, and if you did, then please also watch the videos about the technologies and the materials that will follow in this series. Thank you.